Have you ever pondered about the tumultuous history of a small yet significant nation in the Middle East, known as Israel? Nestled on the eastern shores of the Mediterranean Sea, it's a land steeped in history, religious significance and geopolitical tension. Over centuries, this petite parcel of land has played a pivotal role in the world's political, religious and cultural narratives. From ancient times, Israel has been a crossroads of civilizations, a battleground for empires and a birthplace for three of the world's major religions. Yet, modern Israel is a relatively young nation, its history marked by a series of conflicts and peace accords, immigration waves and settlements, technological innovation and recent diplomatic agreements. Despite its small size, Israel's influence reaches far beyond its borders, sparking curiosity and debate worldwide. Its story is a complex tapestry woven with threads of triumph, turmoil, innovation and resilience. Fasten your seatbelts as we voyage through the turbulent timeline of Israel's history. On May 14, 1948, a new nation announced its birth to the world. Israel declared its independence. This momentous event was the culmination of decades of Jewish struggle for a homeland fueled by the horrors of the Holocaust. The declaration was orchestrated by key players, including David Ben-Gurion, Israel's first prime minister, who boldly proclaimed the establishment of a Jewish state in Palestine to be known as Israel. The international response was immediate and varied. The United States was the first to recognize the new state, followed by the Soviet Union. However, neighboring Arab nations, viewing the declaration as a direct affront, refused to acknowledge Israel's sovereignty. The British, who previously held the mandate over Palestine, watched on, their role in the region coming to an end. The birth of Israel was not without its complications, setting the stage for a series of conflicts. But against all odds, the young nation stood firm, ready to navigate the tumultuous waters of its future. Just a day after its birth, Israel found itself in the throes of a full-fledged war. This was the Arab-Israeli War of 1948, a conflict that erupted right after the United Nations Partition Plan and Israel's Declaration of Independence. Seven Arab nations, unwilling to accept a Jewish state in the heart of the Middle East, launched a military offensive against the newborn Israel. Despite being heavily outnumbered, Israel managed to hold its ground. The war, which lasted for about 10 months, resulted in an armistice that established new borders, leaving Israel with more territory than was originally allocated to it by the UN partition plan. It also resulted in a significant refugee crisis, with hundreds of thousands of Palestinians displaced from their homes. The Arab-Israeli War of 1948 marked the beginning of a series of conflicts in the region. While Israel survived the initial onslaught, the war set a precedent for the conflicts to come. Amidst the chaos, Israel began to build its home. In a land scarred by conflict, the spirit of hope and resilience came alive as waves of immigrants set foot on Israeli soil. From the remnants of the Holocaust, Jewish people across the world sought refuge and a fresh start in this newly formed nation. They arrived in droves, bringing with them diverse cultures, traditions and a shared dream of a homeland. Israel, embracing its role as a refuge, welcomed them with open arms. New settlements sprung up across the country, each a testament to the indomitable spirit of its people. But building a home was not without its challenges. Scarce resources, harsh climates and the ever-looming threat of conflict tested the resilience of these new settlers. Yet they persevered, driven by a shared vision of a prosperous Israel. As Israel grew, so did tensions in the region. In 1967, a swift and decisive victory marked a turning point in Israel's history. The Six-Day War, as it came to be known, arose from mounting tensions between Israel and its neighboring Arab countries. Egypt, Syria and Jordan, backed by other Arab nations, had mobilized forces along Israel's borders, creating a palpable threat. 
In the early hours of June 5th, Israel launched a preemptive airstrike against Egypt, devastating its air force. This decisive move set the tone for the following days. With a strategy marked by speed and surprise, Israel swiftly took control of the Sinai Peninsula, the Gaza Strip, the West Bank, East Jerusalem and the Golan Heights. The victory significantly expanded Israel's territory and marked a new era of power and confidence. However, it also laid the groundwork for ongoing conflict and territorial disputes that persist to this day. The Six-Day War changed the geopolitical landscape of the Middle East. In the 1990s, a glimmer of hope for peace emerged with the Oslo Accords. This marked a significant shift in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. For the first time, representatives from both sides sat together, not on the battlefield, but in the negotiation room. The Accords were a series of peace agreements between Israel and the Palestine Liberation Organization, or PLO. The negotiations, held in secret in Norway's capital, Oslo, culminated in a historic handshake between Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin and PLO leader Yasser Arafat on the White House lawn in September 1993. The Accords aimed to establish a framework for future relations between the two sides. They recognized the PLO as the representative of the Palestinian people and set the stage for further negotiations on crucial issues like borders, settlements and Jerusalem. The Oslo Accords were a beacon of hope in a decades-long conflict. But peace proved elusive and violence erupted once again. Uh, the dawn of the new millennium saw the eruption of the Second Intifada. This was a period of intensified Israeli-Palestinian violence, which started in late September in the year 2000. The immediate cause of the Second Intifada was a visit by Ariel Sharon, the then opposition leader in Israel, to the holy site known as the Temple Mount to Jews and Haram al-Sharif to Muslims. The visit, viewed as a provocation by Palestinians, sparked violent protests, leading to a widespread uprising that lasted for about five years. During this period, suicide bombings became a frequent occurrence, and the Israeli Defense Forces responded with heavy-handed measures, resulting in a tragic loss of lives on both sides. The Second Intifada had profound effects on Israeli and Palestinian societies. It marked a shift in the conflict, moving it from negotiation tables to the streets. Amidst the turmoil, Israel continued to evolve and adapt. Parallel to its political struggles, Israel emerged as a technological powerhouse. Since its inception, the nation has made significant strides in technology, earning the moniker Startup Nation. From the arid desert sprouted an oasis of innovation. Israel's tech sector, invigorated by an education system focused on science and engineering, has been a breeding ground for inventiveness. The birth of companies like Waze and Mobileye, which have had global impacts, are testament to this fact. The nation's reputation as a technological powerhouse is not just confined to its borders. Israeli companies have become global leaders in cybersecurity, telecommunications and medical technology. In the heart of the Middle East, a nation smaller than the state of New Jersey is leading the world in technological advancements. It's an intriguing juxtaposition, a land steeped in ancient history yet pushing the boundaries of the future. Even as Israel innovated, it continued to forge new paths in diplomacy. In recent years, Israel has made significant strides in diplomacy. One of the most significant milestones was the signing of the Abraham Accords in late 2020. This historic agreement normalized relations between Israel and several Arab nations, including the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain. The Accords signaled a paradigm shift in the Middle East as countries that had once been staunch adversaries began to find common ground. They opened the door to economic cooperation, cultural exchange and the possibility of peace in a region often fraught with conflict. The significance of these accords cannot be overstated. They represent a new era in Israel's diplomatic relations, one marked by dialogue and understanding rather than hostility. Moreover, 
they have profound implications for Israel's standing in the international community. As more nations recognize its legitimacy and engage in diplomatic relations, these agreements mark a new chapter in Israel's history. Today, Israel stands as a unique blend of ancient heritage and modern innovation. Stepping into the 21st century, Israel continues to navigate its complex geopolitical landscape while simultaneously pushing the boundaries of technological advancement. Here, the past and the future coexist. The echoes of ancient civilizations reverberate through the streets of Jerusalem, while Tel Aviv buzzes with the energy of a thriving tech scene. Yet, amid the vibrancy and dynamism, Israel grapples with ongoing political and societal challenges, seeking a delicate balance between security and human rights, tradition and progress. Israel's cultural landscape is as diverse as its history. It's a melting pot of traditions, languages and cuisines, reflecting the rich tapestry of its immigrant population. The future of Israel, much like its past, is likely to be defined by its ability to adapt, innovate and persevere. As we've seen, Israel's history is a riveting saga of survival, growth and transformation.